Good morning. I am about to go up the Bishop Pass Trail at the Bishop Pass Trailhead. Uh, going about 11 miles to get uh, back onto the PCT and uh, then head towards, um, I think the, my first stop is going to be uh, Vermilion Valley Resort. When I did the PCT in 2020, uh, my camera broke, and uh, so I didn't film anything, uh, basically, from Sawmill Pass all the way to uh, Echo Lake. I went into South Lake Tahoe to get a, a new camera. I got back on trail uh, there at Lake uh, South Lake Tahoe and uh, uh, went up to um, Echo Lake and then just filmed from there all the way to Canada. So what I'm doing now is I'm going over the same places that I went before in 2020, uh, but I'm filming this time. Hopefully my camera will hold up, but I'm filming this time and uh, I'll be putting a video out. Phew. Climbing up Bishop Pass is no joke. Whew. About 2,000 feet a vertical climb in about three miles. Man, that's steep. Well, I got to the top of Bishop Pass. Uh, it was about 3,000 feet of vertical elevation over six miles. So I uh, do the math. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty steep climb. I still got about six miles to get to the junction where the PCT and the uh, Bishop uh, Bishop Pass Trail meet up together. I'm still on the Bishop Pass Trail heading to the PCT, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the junction uh, tonight. I wish I could have gotten to the PCT, but uh, uh, just a lot of climbing, oh my goodness.
Well, I've stopped for the night and uh, have eaten, I've cleaned up. It was a brutal day today. A lot of vertical climb out of Bishop Pass Trailhead. And uh, once I got to the very top, uh, which was, I think, 11,900 and something feet, uh, almost 12,000 feet uh, in elevation. Then it started going downhill. I am going to go to bed, and uh, in the morning, I'm going to head out and uh, continue on my journey. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I woke up this morning at 5.45 and uh, <clears throat> tossed and turned all night last night, muscle cramps. I'm about to get packed up here and uh, take off down the trail. I'm going to stop down the road a little bit, down the trail a little bit, and uh, eat breakfast. I'm leaving camp, heading down the trail. I've got about three miles to get to the Bishop Pass, uh, Bishop Pass Trail uh, and the uh, Pacific Crest Trail. I gotta keep moving. <laughs> These mosquitoes are gonna kill me, man. Oh my goodness. Uh, didn't have much time to get in my tent last night before the mosquitoes uh, came in there uh, with me. Uh, I killed them all. The goal for today is to get as far down the trail as I can. And uh, ultimately, uh, my first stop is going to be uh, VVR, Vermillion Valley Resort. Don't have my trail legs yet, of course. And uh, boy, just coming in right off the couch is not, uh, not real smart. Well, I finally made it to the PCT, Pacific Crest Trail, and uh, the John Muir Trail, JMT, uh, runs uh, congruent with the uh, PCT. I stopped here for the night, about 3.5 miles from um, Muir Pass. Um, this morning, I got up 
at uh, Dusty uh, Basin and um, hike down uh, to the PCT and Bishop Pass Junction. And it was about 8,000 uh, feet and then climbed up to uh, 10,000 feet. So tomorrow I'm gonna get up early and uh, uh, take my time and get over Muir Pass and on to the other side and make my way uh, down the trail. Well, I just left camp a little while ago back on trail. Muir Pass, 3.5 miles, three and a half miles to Muir Pass. Some say it's the toughest uh, pass of all the major passes in the Sierra. One good thing about the Sierras, <laughs> besides snow and uh, rocks and elevation climb, is there is water everywhere. Muir Pass, and of course, Muir Hut, uh, probably the most photographed uh, uh, icon on the uh, Muir Pass Trail. Muir Hut sits at the precipice of the, uh, the PCT uh, at Muir, uh, Muir Pass. Well, I've stopped for the night, and man, it's a brutal, a brutal day today. Uh, we climbed up um, Muir Pass, and uh, it's about 2,000 feet uh, climb. Now I'm, I'm camped right here by a river, and uh, wherever there's water, <laughs> there's mosquitoes. And so I had to uh, get inside the tent real quickly, otherwise I'd get carried away. So anyway, I'm going to bed and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, out of camp and on the trail again, heading down to, well, in fact, I think I'm in Evolution Valley 
right now. I just went through uh, Evolution Lake yesterday. As I said before, where there's water, the Skeeters, and boy, we had a fight in my tent last night. And uh, guess what? I won. The goal for today, I think I'm going to get to a place called Muir Trail Ranch. Uh, and I need to charge up my electronics. Yeah, Rob, do you have a luxury item? Yeah. Huh. I can't think. I can't think of one. Sit a pad. pillow. Sit pad? Oh, yes, yeah, sit pad. I stopped here for the night at Muir Trail Ranch. I've eaten dinner and washed off my filthy, filthy legs and filthy everything. And now I'm going to bed. So anyway, uh, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Well, off and rolling today, back on trail. I just left uh, Muir, Muir Trail Ranch. Uh, I didn't have to get a resupply or anything there. Uh, a lot of people send buckets uh, for uh, food. Anyway, all I needed to do was go in there to get uh, my um, electronics charged. And so I just left out of there and on my way to Selden Pass. Selden Pass is not the uh, tallest pass uh, on the PCT. From coming out of a Muir Trail Ranch uh, to the very top of Selden Pass is over 3,000 feet in elevation. And so it was some kind of climb. Well, this has been a very eventful day. Uh, Climbed about 3,000 feet in elevation. Whoa. I have battened down the hatch. I will see you in the morning unless something else happens.
Whoa. Good morning. Well, I survived between the torrential rain last night and the thunder and lightning and then trying to fight off the mosquitoes that came into my tent last night. I need to get myself together and pack everything up, all this wet stuff, and get some coffee, I think. And then I need to uh, put one foot in front of the other, make it down the trail. Well, I just left camp, all packed up, and headed down the trail. My goal for today is it's town day. No way. Well, it's not It's not uh, technically a town. It's called uh, Vermilion Valley Resort, VVR for short. And uh, they have all the amenities uh, of some towns, some small uh, trail towns. But I'll get to a shower. I get to wash my clothes, which stink to high heaven. <laughs> And uh, I'll get to resupply and get some real food. I can't wait. Well, I made it to VVR, Vermilion Valley Resort, uh, the end of the first section uh, of my hike from Bishop Pass uh, to here at VVR. There's a bunch of trailers and um, they call them tiny houses, I think, and motel rooms, kind of, it's just, conglomeration of a lot of things um, uh, that uh, the hikers need to kind of rest their weary bones for a little while after being on trail for a long time. But it's great to see hikers that uh, uh, I hiked with and uh, met on trail and uh, they're here uh, at uh, VVR uh, doing the same thing I'm doing. So I am so excited about uh, starting on the next section of my journey but until then i am going to enjoy vvr <laughs> 